Garcia dribbles to his left in the lane. P- pass down low off the hands of Rosenbrock out of bounds. And Brush a little bit sloppy in the early going with their third turnover. Oh, they're going to say offensive foul, which is still a turnover. So the Bay Diggers who committed the first two fouls of the game. Into the front court is Basler. Back out to Herter. At the top for Clarkson. Picked up by Guzman. Dribbling to his left. Into the lane. All the way. Scoops it up off the glass and no good. And the rebound to Austin Garcia. Long pass to Guzman. Guzman all the way. Scoops it up and no good. But he's fouled. As he drove to the hoop. Fouled from behind. Looked like Basler got him. And for Basler, that's Akron's first foul. And Nico Guzman to the stripe. That bucket by Grayson Simmons brought to you by MMI International. Your operation deserves the best when buying a mixer or feeder truck. Compare the MMI design, craftsmanship, and service. MMI International, 842-5161. The first free throws off the back of the rim by Guzman. Second in the air, in and out. And the rebound is controlled by Jared Clarkson of Akron. Clarkson across the timeline, picked up by Guzman on the outside right to Basler. Takes a long rainbow three off the back of the rim. And the rebound to Simmons on a hop, his second board. Simmons bounce pass into the front court, Garcia. Right wing three, back rim, no. Riley Samber grabs his first rebound for Akron. Into the front court, here's Herter dribbling right baseline. Scoops it up, a wild shot misses. And there's going to be a foul against the bead diggers. Garcia commits his second foul. That could land him on the bench as Clay Shaver and Diego Lopez getting ready to check in. The free throw is good. By Herter, he's got four, and the Akron lead is now sitting at 7-2. Seven, seven second free throw by Jordan Herter in the air, and it's in. Herter's outscoring the B Diggers by himself. 5 to 2. It's 8 to 2. 5.48 to go in the first quarter. Guzman with the basketball on the outside right to Simmons. While behind that three point line. Looking down low at the top for Lopez. On the outside left to Guzman. Dribbling to his right. Baseball pass. Cross court to Simmons at the top for Lopez. Back out to the G man. Looking down low. Kicks it at the top to Diego Lopez. Lopez bounce pass to Guzman. Dribbling to his right. Swings it cross court to Simmons near that right baseline. He's harassed over there by Clarkson. Back out to Lopez. He will set up the beat digger offense. Lopez at the top and then had the ball kicked by Bosler on the bounce pass intended for Guzman. And Coach Held said that the offense would be rusty in the early going. That's the case so far. With a basketball is Simmons at the top for Shaver. Shaver on the high right to Guzman. Nico Guzman with a basketball. Cross court to Barfus on the outside right. Simmons puts up a shot. It's off the back of the rim. And the rebound is controlled by Darian Gaia's first on the outlet to Bosler. Bounce pass cross court left corner. Herter three in the air is off the front of the rim. And the ball is volleyballed into the hands of Clay Shaver his first rebound. There's the outlet to Simmons into the front court. 4.45 to go in the opening quarter. B diggers are down by six. Guzman cross court pass to Lopez. Dribbling to his left. Into the lane. Scoops it up and off the back of the rim and the rebound. Into the hands of Bosler. That's his first. Bosler across the timeline on the high right. Pulls up long three. Front of the rim and it's headed out of bounds as Clarkson gave it a chase into the B digger bench. Brush basketball and the B diggers keep up this pace offensively. It's going to be a tough night. They've got to pick it up and try to score down low. As Cameron Alexander checks into the game for Eric Barfus. Also in for the Bead Diggers. With a pass out to the left to Simmons. Let's see, I don't know if I got that. That might be the freshman out there. That's Micah Rocha. Rocha with a basketball in the right corner for Alexander. Back out to Rocha. Now to Clay Shaver on the outside left. And the high right now to Simmons. Bead Diggers not dribbling too much. Just trying to pass it around. Now Simmons right of the lane. Right baseline pass towards Guzman. Ball knocked out of bounds, and it went off the Rams. B-Diggers retain possession. Well, the defense is going to keep them in this game. That's about the only way right now until the offense can find something. Guzman to throw it in on the high right to Rocha. Only a freshman. To his left near the top of the three-point circle. Picks up the dribble back out to Simmons. Simmons to Guzman, just beyond the timeline. On the high left to Simmons. Bounce pass, left baseline to Shaver. Down low for Alexander. Knocked away, intercepted. Here comes Herter the other way. Scoops it up off the glass. Good. 
Jordan Herder's got seven points. Timeout, Brush with 3.44 to go in the opening quarter. Akron putting it to the B-Diggers, leading 10-2. Akron is now on a 7-0 run. B-Digger timeout is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Let the State Farm Insurance Office of Greg Mullen and Brush help you find the best policy to fit your life. Home, auto, life, and health. State Farm Insurance is there for you and your family. Give Greg Mullen a call at 842-4555. Well, we played 4 minutes and 16 seconds of basketball. And right now the B-Diggers are certainly in a struggle at this point. With the basketball into the lane, and Rocha had it knocked away. Back out to Simmons. Simmons to away for Rocha, dribbling to his left, fouled by Herter. And for Herter... That is his first foul. B.J. Hirschfeld checks in for the B-Diggers to throw it in to Simmons. Near the timeline for Rocha. Rocha with the basketball near the top. Back out to Simmons on the high left. Just holding the ball, dribbling to his right. Left baseline for Shaver. Back out to Simmons. Straight away for Alexander. Alexander over to Simmons on the high left. Simmons dribbling to his right. Feeds it over to Rocha. Rocha near the top. Cross court to Hirschfeld. Now to Simmons. B-Diggers cannot get off a shot fluently here. Alexander in the lane. Lost the ball. Got it back. Hirschfeld three in the air. In and out. Rebound to Shaver. Goes back up and scoops it up and in. And a foul. And that ends the 7 nothing Akron run. Clay Shaver to the stripe to shoot one. Riley Sambra commits the foul. They can get him into foul trouble. That will open it up on the inside for the B-Diggers. And now Clay Shaver, a junior, is Part of that state championship football team, a key part of it, will step to the stripe. Samber is out. And into the game is Dylan Michaelis. Shaver bends, shoots, and misses off to the right. And the rebound to Michaelis. Akron out rebounding brush. Well, actually tied at five of the rebounds. Clarkson in the lane. His jumper's up. No good, but a foul before. That'll be a beat digger foul on the floor. Hirschfeld commits his first. The B-Diggers have committed 14 fouls. Three for Akron. Clarkson throws it in near the top. Batted away by Clarkson. Chased down in the backcourt, though, by Herter. Herter across the timeline. Right corner, Clarkson. Three in the air. Bingo! Jared Clarkson with a second trifecta of the game. It's 13-4 Akron. 2.27 to go in the opening quarter. Rocha lost the ball in the lane. It was stripped away. Fifth turnover. Clarkson into the front court, in the lane. All the way scoops it up. Misses fouled. Jared Clarkson now to shoot a deuce. And the B-Diggers in tremendous foul trouble already as that foul was committed by Shaver. Four different players have committed fouls and now to the line. Jared Clarkson. We have two Akron players who have outscored Brush by themselves. The free throw rattles home. Herter has seven points. Clarkson has seven points. Alexander's out. Rosenbrock is in. He's going to have to take over the game. He and Garcia have got all the experience, but Garcia won't play for a while considering his two fouls. Second free throw, good. The Rams lead by 11, 15 to 4. Here comes Simmons across the timeline for Brush on the outside left to Hirschfeld behind the three-point line. Near the top to Rocha. Rocha on the high left to Shaver. B-Diggers working it around, but rather methodically. Near the timeline now to Simmons. Bounce pass to Rosenbrock on the outside left in front of the Akron bench. Now to Simmons. Simmons at the top. Down low for Shaver. Wide open. Banks and scores to the right of the lane. Nice job by the G-man. Finding Clay Shaver who's got four. The B-Diggers trail by nine. 15 to six. Minute 52 to go in the opening quarter. The Herder three rattles in. Jordan Herder from the corner. He's got ten. 18-6 18-6 Akron, a minute 43 to go, opening quarter. Simmons with a basketball, bounce pass Rosenbrock, turns in the lane, dribbles, left corner, Rocha, three in the air, is up and an air ball, and then the ball is wrestled away by Clarkson. His second board, long pass in the layup by Bowser's up and in off the glass. And right now Akron showing the B-Diggers their brand of basketball, 20-6. to 
On the outside left, Rocha, the left-hander, dribbles towards the left corner, picks up his dribble. Left baseline for Shaver, down low for Rosenbrock, fades, bang, scores. Kyle Rosenbrock scores for the first time. 20-8 Akron, a minute 10 to go, long three. Bosler is off to the right, but the rebound into the hands of Clarkson. He read that well. Cross-court pass to Herter. Herter back out on the outside right with the basketball. Bosler lobs it left corner. Clarkson fakes the three, picked up by Simmons. At the top for Bosler. We've got 55 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Dribbles, right wing three. Good! Holy Mahungas! Bosler is just tearing it up. Got five points here in the last 30-plus uh, seconds. 23-8 to eight Akron. Left baseline, Rosenbrock, bounce pass down low for Shaver off his hands, ball batted away, and we should have a, it's going to be a timeout called by Akron after it was chased down over there by Bosler, it is. We'll keep it right here, 37.4 seconds to go. And right now the Rams are putting on a clinic and shooting the basketball well with that 23-8 lead. Again, you can follow us on Twitter at KSIR Sports or on our Facebook page, 1010 KSIR Sports. These teams will break the huddle. And a Bosler, Samber, Darian Guy, Michaelis, and Jared Clarkson in there for Akron. The B Diggers with Simmons, Hirschfeld. Barfus, along with Rocha and Rosenbrock. Akron might take the air to the ball. Here's Clarkson back out to Bosler. Cross court to Clarkson. 22 seconds to go. Rocha right on top of him. Don't want to get too close and commit the foul. Baseball pass near the timeline to Bosler. Back out to Clarkson. 15 seconds to go. Now to Bosler. Dribbles between his legs. Pick up his dribble. Looking, still looking, nine seconds to go on the outside left. Michaelis back out to Bosler with six seconds to go. He's stuck over there, just beyond the timeline. Bosler with three, with two. He's not going to get off a shot. Clarkson does, and it's off the front of the rim. That's the end of the opening quarter. With the score, Akron 23, brush eight. This is 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. We begin the second quarter after an Akron miss. Austin Garcia puts it in. His first points, there's a steal, and Garcia all the way lays it up and in. Garcia, four points in the opening 30 seconds. After the Akron turnover, the B-Diggers now make this an 11-point game at 23-12, 23-8 after the opening quarter, but now the B-Diggers on a mini 4-0 run. On the outside left of the basketball is Bosler. Bosler dribbles left of the lane at the top between his legs in the left corner, Michaelis against Eric Barfus, back out to Clarkson. Rocha right on top of him. Clarkson dribbles by him into the lane. He's triple teamed over there, then lost the ball. And it's into the hands of Herter. Misses the three. That's short. And Austin Garcia has the ball. Assisted over there by Eric Barfus. Garcia into the front court. At the top. Behind the three-point line. Long three is off the left. Off to the left. And a rebound controlled by Herter. Herter with his first board for Akron. Here comes Clarkson into the front court. Clarkson at the top of the outside left for Herter. Herter, cross-court pass, tipped away, taken by Michaelis, though. Michaelis to Herter, wide open, Bosler, left wing three, is off the back of the rim, and going up high as Samber dribbles, banks, and he misses! Well, that was too easy, Rosenbrock with a rebound for the B-Diggers, Rosenbrock the other way, in the lane, had his jump pass batted away, taken by Garcia. Garcia into the lane, jump pass, Rosenbrock, right baseline, he'll put up a 16-footer, it's short, and then high for the rebound was Simmons, scooped up and in by Rosenbrock! Boy, thanks to Simmons who kept that alive as Rosenbrock scores. B-Diggers have now on a 6-0 run to begin the quarter. 23-14 Akron. The runner's up off the back of the rim. No good. Missed by Bosler. And the rebound into the hands of Eric Barfus. Here come the B-Diggers the other way. Right corner. Rocha three in the air is off the back of the rim. And the rebound into the hands of Michaelis. Michaelis with the basketball. Into the front court is Bosler. Left corner for Herter. Dribbles left baseline. All the way. Scoops it up. Blocked but a foul by Eric Barfus. That'll be his first and to the line is Jordan Herter. When you're shopping for new appliances, shop the best appliance store in Fort Morgan, B&B Appliance, with a full and complete line of Whirlpool appliances. They'll help you find your perfect fit. B&B Appliance in downtown Fort Morgan. The free throw is in. Second free throw upcoming for Herter. 
First points of the quarter for Akron. That stops a 6 nothing run. And the Rams are 6 out of 6 from the line. And make it 7 out of 7. Herter now has 12 points in the game. 25-14 Akron. 5.38 to go before the break. Garcia on the high left for Rosenbrock. Well behind that three-point line. Back out to Guzman. On the high right to Garcia. Dribbles to his right. Right of the lane. All the way as runners up and off the back of the rim. And the ball is tipped around into the hands of Herter. Herter for Akron. One on two. Wild shot is missed. And Nico Guzman has it on a wild bounce. Guzman into the front court. Down low for Alexander. Turn, shoot, scores off the lip of the rim. Cameron Alexander. Brushed down by nine once again, 25-16. to 16. Herter fakes the three, penetrates right baseline, scoops it up and in. Off the glass. Herter now with 14 in the game. 27-16 to 16, Akron with 4.53 to go, second quarter. On the outside right is Rosenbrock behind that three-point line, dribbling to his right. Cross-court pass to Guzman, left wing three in the air, is off the back of the rim. The rebound to Alexander, in the lane, dribbles, shoots, scores. Cameron Alexander... Got four points. The B-Diggers again trail by nine. Let's see if they can put together a defensive run. The Basel rainbow three did not get to the rim. Rosenbrock has it for Brush. Rosenbrock with a three on two all the way. Left-handed layup up and no good. And the rebound and the putback. Oh, blocked from behind as Alexander had it. Taken away by Clarkson. Clarkson with an excellent play into the lane. Scoops it left corner for Herter, but it's thrown into the seats. Akron commits their third turnover of the game. And Darian Guy makes his return for Akron. The B-Diggers with Garcia, Guzman, Barfus, Rosenbrock, and Alexander. Samber, Guy, Bosler, Herter, and Clarkson for Akron. Guzman with the basketball on the high left. Swings it cross court to Garcia. Garcia to his left. Over to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock left corner for Guzman. B-Diggers still trail by nine. Jump pass left baseline Alexander. Back out to Guzman at the free throw line on the outside right to Garcia. Penetrates into the lane as runners up off the back of the rim and in for Garcia. He's got six all in the quarter. Brushes to within seven. 27 to 20. 335 to go second quarter. Basra on the high right at the top for Herter. Fakes his runners up and off to the left. And the rebound to Guy. Over to Clarkson. Three in the air. Air ball. Knocked out of bounds off of Rosenbrock. And the Rams retain possession. Here comes the spectacled Titer Wiley into the game. As Clarkson will throw it in. Lobs it near the timeline for Bosler. To his right, picked up by Garcia. The B-Diggers right now in a man-to-man as Clarkson gets a pick to his left. Back to his right at the free throw line. In the lane, the 12-foot runner is no good, but a foul. Alexander commits it with a body. That's his first, and now it'll be Jared Clarkson, who scored eight points in the opening quarter at the stripe. And Akron has yet to miss a free throw. This one's up and good. Clay Shaver now in re- uh, replacing Cameron Alexander. Brushed down by eight. Second free throws up and in. 29 to 20. Guzman the other way on the outside left for Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock picks up his dribble. Cross court pass in the corner for Garcia. Dribbles to his left. Now behind the line at the top for Guzman. Swings it left side, Rosenbrock, wide open three, is off to the right. And the rebound is controlled by Wiley of Akron. Into the front court is Bosler with 2.44 to go second quarter. Akron 29, brush 20. Clarkson at the top gets a pick from Samber, backs up for a three. It's off the back of the rim and Rosenbrock goes high for his third rebound of the game. Rosenbrock across the timeline, left corner Guzman. Dribbles to his right, had the ball poked from behind, out of bounds. It's off of Wiley of Akron. B-Diggers retain possession. And Barfus to throw it in. We'll have the girls game coming up at 7 o'clock as well. In the right corner, Garcia off the inbounds pass, misses the three. And boxing out for the rebound was Darian Guy. Guy to Bosler. Into the front court. Bosler lobs it on the left wing for Wiley. Straight away, Bosler. Three in the air, in and out. 
And the ball is tipped around and chased down very nicely by Clay Shaver. Shaver with a second board. The outlet to Garcia. Garcia outside left in the lane all the way. He runs into a ram. And that will be a defensive foul on Jared Clarkson. That's his first. As Garcia was going up for the shot, so they'll give him two. The senior scored six points in the quarter. The free throw is in the air and make it seven. It rattles in. For Garcia. Jordan Herter back in for Akron. Grayson Simmons for Brusher. One-stop center for Home Improvement Projects. Ackley Building Center, 1402 Mill Street. In Brush. Second free throw is good. The Bay Diggers trail by 7, 29-22, and even two minutes to go before the break. Levi Bosler for Akron, just beyond the timeline. Left corner, Herter, long three, yes. They can't stop the guy. He's got 17 in the game. More than half of Akron's points is a 10-point advantage, 32-22, a minute 39 to go. Guzman on the high right, near the top for Simmons. Back out to Shaver, behind that three-point line. Shaver over to Garcia. Garcia between the legs, gets a pick, crossover dribble, 15-footer, good! Nice shot by Austin Garcia. Garcia now with 10 all in the quarter, and Brush makes it an eight-point game. It's 32-24. With a minute 12 to go, Herder in the right corner. Pass down low, tipped away, and it's taken away by Guzman. Here come the beat diggers four on two. Guzman scoops it up, and he misses, but there's a blocking foul. Against the Rams, and Guzman will shoot two, and the foul committed by Levi Bosler. That is his second. And to the line is Guzman, and his free throws up and around and off to the right. Nico is now 0 out of 3 for the line. Substitution for the Rams. Dylan Michaelis checks in. Second free throw for Nico with brush down by eight. With a minute five to go before the break. Is in the air, and that one's off the back of the rim. High rebound there for Barfus. Kicks it out to Simmons. Simmons left of the lane. Left corner for Guzman. Down low for Shaver in the lane. Feeds Barfus. Barfus fades, shoots, misses. Put back is up and missed by Guzman. B-Diggers had a number of opportunities, and then we get a foul in the backcourt. It's against Shaver. That's his second, but Brush had a ton of opportunities there. And could not score and make this a six-point game. Now it's a one-and-one, 18 one, foul. And Akron is nine out of nine from the line. And the free throws in. Herter has 18 points. Here comes Kyle Rosenbrock in for Clay Shaver. Second free throw upcoming. That's in the air, and that's good. And the B-Diggers down by 10 once again with 47 seconds to go in the second. Garcia across the timeline. At the top, left of the lane, all the way, scoops it up off the glass, misses. Barfus had the rebound, got it back, right baseline, and then threw the ball nearly away. It's wrestled away by Rosenbrock. Now to Garcia, 10-footer, good! Garcia's got 12 in the quarter. And the B-Diggers are hitting the boards hard, staying in this game, only down by 8. With 21 seconds to go, Akron might take the final shot, but Herter is fouled by Grayson Simmons. That'll be a 1-1. And for the G-Man, that's his first. And Herder has just been tearing it up in this game. Ten points in the opening quarter. And nine so far here in the second. Nineteen foul. Free throw is around and good. Second free throw coming up for Herder. That's in the air, and that is in. 
Herder's got 21 points in the game. And we're still in the first half, 36-26. 12 seconds to go. Here comes Garcia into the front court. Bounce pass on the high right for Guzman with eight. Back to Garcia with six. Garcia over to Guzman with four. Back to Garcia with three. They've got to get rid of it and put it up. Guzman, right corner, three is off the top of the backboard. And that's the end of the opening half with the score. Akron 36, Brush 26. This is 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. in favor of the Akron Rams as momentarily we'll head to the third quarter from the Digger Dome and Brush with a girls game coming up at about 7 o'clock. The Bay Diggers in this game were down by 15 points after one but then put together a very nice second quarter outscoring Akron 18 to 13. It'll be Garcia, Simmons, Guzman, Barfus, and Rosenbrock for Brush. Clarkson, Herter, Bosler, along with Guy and Samber for Akron. Akron will be on defense here as the Bee Diggers have the basketball. At the top, Rosenbrock bounce pass towards Guzman, and the ball is out of bounds. It went off Guzman. B-Diggers did not commit a turnover in the second quarter, but have one to begin the third. With a basketball across the timeline is Clarkson. Clarkson against Guzman, right of the lane, all the way, scoops it back out. Now here in the lane is Bosler, his runner with the right hand is up and in. Hold, oh, shit. Levi Bosler now with 23. Or check that. He's got seven. Herter is 21. That would have been his 23rd. Ball inside, tipped away, intended for Rosenbrock. Herder with a basketball. He bounces it off a of beat digger out of bounds. As Brush now getting sloppy again. Down by 12, 38 to 26. Bosler to throw it in near the timeline to Herder. Herder on the outside right to Clarkson. At the top, Bosler three in the air is off the front of the rim. And Rosenbrock has the rebound for the beat diggers. With his fourth in the right corner, here's Simmons. Backs it out to Garcia. Garcia straight away. Won't take that three. Right side to Simmons. He'll take the three. Bingo for Grayson Simmons. Simmons now with five. The B diggers to within nine. 38 29. 654 to go in the third. Herders, runners up, air ball. Rosenbrock has it for the B digger. Strong side. Fouled in the backcourt is Rosenbrock. And the foul committed by Herder. Foul number two against Herder. And Rosenbrock to throw it in. Here is Garcia. The Bee Diggers can make this a seven or a six point game with a three. Garcia picks up the dribble at the free throw line for Barfus. Had the ball stripped away. Gets it back over to Guzman. Back out Garcia. Long three. Good! Austin Garcia is getting hot. He had 12 points in the second quarter. Now has 15 in the game. Brushed it within six. 38 32. 623 to go. Third quarter. Bosler in the lane, scoops it up, fouled as he misses. And the foul is committed by Simmons. That'll be his second. Live in your world, learn in ours at Northeastern. Go to njc.edu for more information. Free throw in the air, yes. Bosler now with eight points in the game. Akron is 14 out of 14 for the line. Second free throw is off to the left. Their first miss. Rosenbrock with a six rebound. Outlet to Guzman. Guzman swings at free throw line for Barfus, and he traveled. Nine turnovers for Brush. Three in the quarter, and we've only played a minute 45 in this quarter. B Diggers down by seven, 39-32. At the top, Clarkson at the free throw line. Fades from 15, got fouled as he missed. Well, that's an awful foul. That far away from the basket, and Simmons didn't think he committed it. But that's his third. And here comes Micah Rocha. He'll replace Simmons. Now Clarkson to shoot two. That free throw's up and around and good. 
Clarkson now with 11. As Micaiah Roach in the game. Second free throw is perfect. Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan, equitable savings and loan. And Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush with financial solutions for you. On the outside right, Guzman back out to Garcia. In the lane as runners up and short. Rebound, Garcia scoops it up and in. Garcia was 17 in the game. 41-34 Akron. 5.43 to go in the third. Clarkson against Micaiah Rocha to his left. In the lane, scoops it up, left hand and in. What a shot by Clarkson. Off the glass. He's got 14. It's a nine-point lead for Akron. 528 to go. In the lane, Rosenbrock was fouled. Looks like Clarkson got him. Should be the second foul against Clarkson. Rosenbrock to throw it in. Out there with Guzman, Garcia, Rocha, and Barfus. Uh, Rosenbrock still awaiting the basketball as they dry off the court a little bit. Rosenbrock looking down low. Outside right, Guzman puts up a three, is off the front of the rim. Rebound to Samber of Akron. That's his third. On the outlet to Bosler on the outside left. At the top for Clarkson, guarded by Rocha. Dribbles by Rocha, pulls up from 12, is around and no good. Eric Barfus with a B digger rebound, his fourth. On the outlet to Garcia. Garcia swings it down low for Barfus. Reverse layup up and in off the glass. B diggers to within seven. 43 36. 457 to go in the third. And we've got a pushing violation there on Guzman. Third foul against the B diggers in this third quarter. And to throw it in. For the Rams will be Bosler. Here's Herter with the basketball. Backs up long three. It's off the back of the rim. And Clarkson bats it out. Over to Bosler. Nice save there by Clarkson. Bosler in the lane. Bounce pass to Guy. Shot is up and in. On the left baseline for Darian Guy. Who scores for the first time in the game. 45-36 Akron. Four and a half to go in the third. Garcia at the top of the basketball. Right side to Guzman. Jump pass at the free throw line for Barfus into the lane. Right corner, Guzman, and he traveled. Ten turnovers now for Brush. And Guy and the Rams will come the other way, leading by nine. Akron has led the entire game. Jared Clarkson on the outside right to Herter. Gets a pick, dribbles towards the top. On the high left to Bosler. Bosler dribbles by Rocha in the lane. His runner's up and good. The Bay Diggers are overplaying it defensively. It's a 10-point effort. Now a three the other way is in by Garcia. Garcia's keeping Brush in the game. He's got 20 points. 47-39 Akron. 3.49 to go in the third. Herder with a basketball between his legs. Backs up behind the three-point line. Dribbles to his right. Gets a defender in the air. Back out to Bowser. Fakes the three. Backs up. Takes the three. And banks it in! My Lord! Levi Bosler with 8 in the quarter and 13 in the game. 11-point lead for the Rams. Into the lane as Barfus backs it out right corner. Rocha, 3 in the air, is off the front of the rim. The rebound to Guy. Here come the Rams the other way. Guy to Herter, scoops it up and in. 23 in the game for Herter. And now the Rams lead by a Baker's dozen, 52-39. Barfus left of the lane, back out to Guzman. 3 in the air, no good. Darian Guy has the rebound. Guzman cold from the field today. Clarkson the other way, right of the lane, all the way. Right baseline shot up, no, but a foul before the shot on Guzman. With an even three minutes to go. And a full timeout by Akron. We'll take it with him. A one-minute break with the score. Akron 52, brush 39 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Akron 52, brush 39, and even three minutes to go in the third. Akron basketball. Clarkson lobs it in near the top to Bosler. Takes a long three. Good. Man, this kid is on fire. 
10 points in the quarter. In fact, make it 11. 16 in the game, and the three by Roach is good the other way. But brushes down by 13 still. Left of the lane, Herter forces it up, misses, but he's fouled. Foul on Micaiah Rocha. That's his first. Herter to shoot two. And this Akron team right now is fairly unconscious for the field. Free throws around and in. By Herter. Second free throw upcoming. That's in as well. Herter now has 25 points in the game. 57-42. Here come the B-Diggers the other way. Rocha left the lane. Gets a defender in the air and misses. The foul on Herter. That's going to be his third. And I think we've got a technical foul against the B-Diggers as well. And uh, Roach has committed the uh, technical foul. Um, I don't know what he said, but it, uh, I mean, the referee made the right call initially. So anyway, he'll shoot two. Then Akron gets two free throws and the ball. Roach has free throws in the air, and that's good. Second free throw upcoming. B Digger still down big in this game. Home of the 8.95 dinner menu during the week and the best prime rib on Friday and Saturday at Atwood Steakhouse. Second free throw is good. And Novus Auto Glass repair and replacement. Novus gets you back on the road. Brushed down by 13, 57, 44 as Rocha made both free throws. Now here comes Clarkson to shoot two for Akron. Free throws up and around and no good. Clarkson only has 14 in the game. Second free throw, yes. 58 to 44. And to throw it in is Clarkson. Bounce pass on the outside right to Herter. Herter dribbles right base on all the way, scoops it up good. Herder's got 27. Akron leads by 16, 60 to 44. 218 to go in the third. Garcia straight away backs up 17 footer. Back rim. And the ball is out of bounds. It's off a of B digger. As giving chase for the B diggers was Ryan Dunker. Well, here comes Samber the other way. Straight away, Clarkson three is off the back of the rim. And into the air for the rebound is Garcia. He's fouled in the backcourt. Lots of fouls in this quarter. they got to clean this up a little bit in the fourth. Samber commits his second. Only the 14th foul. The B-Diggers have committed 16 fouls. And Austin Garcia with two minutes to go comes the other way. Brushed down by 16. 60 to 44. On the outside right to Dunker. Bounce pass uh, to Shaver, but wrestled away by Clarkson. Ball batted away near midcourt. And here's Bosler with the basketball. B Diggers turn it over. Down low, the layup is up and in. Bosler feeds it over there to the wide open Brock Benson into the game. Brush has turned it over for an 11th time. 62-44. Simmons on the outside right to Dunker. Straight away to Garcia. Left of the lane towards the left baseline. Garcia to his right. Hands it off to Simmons. Simmons out to his left. Dribbles the ball off his leg out of bounds. And Jordan Herter back in. This Akron team looks good. Not a ton of depth. But they do have talent with that starting lineup. Herter on the outside left. Here's Bosler. Backs up for a three, and that's going to be short. And it's out of bounds. B-Digger basketball. With a minute eight to go in the third, here comes Rosenbrock. Along with Eric Barfus. And Simmons to throw it in.
The Bee Diggers did make this uh, an eight-point game. In fact, I believe they got it down to seven at one point. Here's Alexander, 12-footer straight away, back rim, no. And the ball is off the hands of Samber out of bounds, stays with Brush. It's going to take some time. Simmons to throw it in. Herder is out. Clarkson back in. Simmons. In the left corner for Barfus. Little 12 footer is no good. Jared Clarkson has the rebound. The long pass to Herder. Here's Bosler, three. Back rim, no. Ball into the hands of Alexander. And then Alexander threw it away to Samber. Brush turns it over for a seventh time in the quarter. Bosler. Back out, Clarkson, three, no good. Austin Garcia has a sixth rebound. 27 seconds to go. Garcia into the front court on the outside right, between his legs, in the lane, all the way, scoops it up and in. Off the glass with the right hand for Austin Garcia. Garcia now with 21. Check that, 22. 10 in the quarter. Eight seconds to go, Clarkson at the top. Clarkson in the lane. Clarkson scoops it up wildly. Misses. Rosenbrock with a rebound with two. Rosenbrock behind his back. Lost the basketball. And the third quarter ends on a turnover. After three. Akron 62. Brush 46. A one-minute break on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Akron leads Brush 62-46 going into the fourth. Jared Clarkson to throw it in. In the backcourt to Bosler, now front court to Herter. Herter picked up by Garcia, dribbling to his right, and then Garcia looked like he stripped the ball, but they called a foul. That'll be the 17th foul. And Herter to the line. Garcia has committed his third personal. So Herter will be shooting the one and one. Brush out score 26 to 20 in the quarter. Free throws no good. Alexander grabs the rebound for the B Diggers. On the outlet to Garcia. Garcia right side to Barfus. Bounce pass right base on to Rosenbrock. Back out to Barfus to his right. Barfus in a lane to Alexander. Face the defender in the air. Banks and scores with the left hand for Cameron Alexander. He's got six. Akron 62, Brush 48. On the high right, Herder. Against Garcia, dribbles to his right, gets a pick all the way, scoops it up and around it. Good! What a shot by Herter. He's got 29 in the game. Akron 64, Brush 48 with 7.16 to go. Garcia, long three, is off the front of the rim. Darian Guy battles for his sixth rebound. The outlet to Clarkson, right of the lane. Clarkson pulls up from 14. Back rim, no. Rebound is volleyballed around. And it's off the hand of Eric Barfus out of bounds. Akron retains possession with 7.02 to go, up by 16. Clarkson to throw it in. Lobs it into Bosler. Left wing to Herter. Back out to Clarkson against Rosenbrock. Straight away Bosler. Long three. Back rimmed it. Rebound to Herter. Now to Clarkson. Resetting is Akron. Clarkson in the left corner. Clarkson at the free throw line. Double team. Clarkson spins. Leans. Bounce pass to Bosler. Bosler to his right, left corner. Clarkson, long three, is in and out. And the rebound into the hands of Alexander. Alexander battles for his fifth rebound. And then Simmons fouled by Clarkson just beyond midcourt. Clarkson with his third foul. But the B-Diggers need a huge run just to get back into the game. And Simmons to throw it in for Brush. With just over six and a half minutes to go in the game, down by 16. Simmons to Garcia, back to Simmons, feeds Alexander down low. Rosenbrock bands in, misses, scoops it up off the tip and misses. Rebound into the hands of Herter. Herter with the basketball, right of the lane, scoops it over to Samber. Back out to Clarkson, 17-footer, back rammed and in and out. And the ball is volleyballed around into the hands of Rosenbrock, and he's fouled by Samra in the backcourt. That'll be the 16 foul. B Digger basketball, Simmons to throw it in.
Here is Garcia. At the top, swings it on the jump pass to Simmons. Right base on Rosenbrock. Now Simmons, three is a line drive brick. Clarkson with a rebound. On the right baseline, Herter. Bank shot is up and in off the layup. Jordan Herter now has 31 in the game. Akron 66, brush 48. Right of the lane, Rosenbrock. Now to Garcia. Three in the air is off to the right. And the ball into the hands of Garcia. Garcia jump pass for Alexander. Back out, Barfus fakes the three. Steps in, 17-footer. He back rimmed that one. And Samba has the rebound foul for behind by Alexander. Alexander with a second. Yeah, now you want to avoid these fouls that just extend the game for no reason. You're down now by 18 points with 5.29 to go. Samber is yet to score in the game. Eighth team foul committed by Brush in this second half. The Samber free throws in the air. Good. Akron has their biggest lead of 19, 67-48. Second free throw is off the back of the rim. Eric Barfus has the rebound for the B-Diggers, his fifth. Over to Garcia. Garcia at the free throw line. Jump pass over to Guzman. Left baseline for Shaver. Back to Guzman. Swings it. Cross court to Simmons. He'll take the three, and it's no good. And controlling the rebound is Jordan Herter of Akron. Over to Clarkson. Clarkson with 5.09 to go. Straight away to Herter. Herter in the lane. Had it stripped from behind. Taken away by Simmons. Simmons now to Garcia. All the way scoops it up and in. And a foul on Bosler. Yeah, I don't know why Bosler would commit that foul considering that Akron's got a huge lead. Just give him the layup at that point. And Austin Garcia's got 24 points in the game. And the free throw is up and good. 25 for the senior Garcia. But Brush with less than five minutes to go is down by 16. 67-51. Clarkson the other way for Akron. On the outside right to Herter. Herter against Garcia. Leans, fades, shoots, misses. Eric Barfus with a rebound for the B-Diggers. And then it's thrown away. And then Samber banks and scores. Brush has committed nine turnovers in the second half. 15 in the game. Barfus to Guzman to Garcia. Fake steps to his left. Three in the air. Is off the front of the rim. Samber has the rebound. His fifth for Akron. The Rams lead by 18. Clarkson the other way. Leans, shoots, banks, misses, fouled. And now Jared Clarkson to shoot a deuce. Nico Guzman with his third. And right now the B-Diggers look a little bit slow with their feet. That's it. Uh, with way too many fouls. Free throw by Clarkson in the air. Yes. Jared Clarkson now has 15 points in the game. Well, now 16, actually, with that made free throw. The Rams lead by 19. The Rams still lead by 19. Second free throw, no good. Austin Garcia chases down the rebound. That's his eighth. Rosenbrock has nine to lead brush. Garcia straight away over to Simmons. Hands it off to Garcia. Garcia left of the lane. Jump pass down low. Shaver reverse layup is up and missed. And the rebound is controlled by Michaelis of Akron. Here is Bosler. Bosler at the free throw line. He's going to have to back it out. Does to Herter. Four minutes to go from Brush. Left wing to Bosler. Bosler into the lane all the way. Wild scoop is up and missed. And the ball is out of bounds. It's off of Darian Guy of Akron. Beat Digger basketball. Ryan Dunker's into the game. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at morgancc.edu. And stop, shop, and save on all your grocery needs and snacks for game time enjoyment. The Brush Grocery Card, 1302 West Edison Street in Brush. Left corner, Guzman, three in the air, in and out. Foul from behind by Ryan Dunker, 10th team foul. With 3.39 to go, we'll have free throws coming the other way for Jared Clarkson. Jared Clarkson. 
as the Bay Diggers will drop their opener. The free throw is up, and that is short. Alexander now in for Guzman. Second free throw upcoming. For Jared Clarkson. That's in the air, and that's in. 20-point lead, 71-51. Garcia the other way at the free throw line. Dribbles to his right, leans, shoots, misses off the back of the rim. Garcia with a rebound, then stuffed away by Michaelis, but taken away by Alexander. Here's Dunker, and then Dunker threw it right through the hands of Shaver. Well, unfortunately for Brush, another turnover. That is their 10th of the half and the 16th of the game. Basler the other way. 3.15 to go, and Akron leads by 20. 71-51. Clarkson left of the lane. Clarkson leans, then shoots and misses. Eric Barfa says the rebound. Got nothing but glass there. Here's Alexander. Alexander runs into a ram, misses the shot, no whistle. Coming away is Jordan Herter with a basketball. Herter on the outside right. Herter bodied up by Dunker. Uh, you can't commit that foul. Come on. Yeah, you don't want to be committing fouls down by 20 with less than three minutes to go. Dunker's only a freshman, though, and that's going to happen with younger players. And here is Jordan Herter. Herter has been a terror to the bead diggers. The free throw is good. That's 32 points for Jordan Herter. Second free throw coming up as the Rams have their biggest lead at 21. With 2.50 to go. That's in the air. Yes. 33 for Herter. Not a bad way to open up the season for the Rams. And here is Brock Benson in for Akron. 73 to 51. Garcia over to Dunker. Bounce pass left baseline for Barfus. Dribbles to his right. Lean shoots and misses. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Alexander Akron basketball. Samber into the game. Girls game should be starting pretty much on time. Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll have, the again, the girls game. And on 105.7 KPMX, the Sterling girls ranked number one in 3A against Frontier Academy. Here is Clarkson. His bounce pass knocked away by Simmons out of bounds. Akron still running their normal offense, and I, I get that, but you don't need to shoot anytime soon with a huge lead. Diego Lopez in for brush. Here is Clarkson. Clarkson in the lane all the way, scoops it up off to the left, and a whistle and a foul on the B Diggers. Barfus commits the foul. That's his second. They're giving this team a lot of free throws. A lot. Free throw is around and good. This will be the 30th free throw of the game taken by Akron. It's a lot in a high school basketball game. And that one is short. Rebound to Simmons is fourth. 74-51 Akron. 2.22 to go in the game. Garcia left of the lane. Runs into a ram. A blocking foul as he misses. Man, this basketball now has become unwatchable. Levi Bosler commits the foul. Well, Garcia's had a good night, though, with 25 points. But the defense by both teams in the second half has not really been that good. Free throw is good. Probably better by Akron than Brush, only because the Rams have extended a 10-point halftime lead, which is now at 22. Rosenbrock is back in for the B-Diggers. Second free throw upcoming for Austin Garcia. 
is in the air and in. 74-53. Let's see if we can go about 30 seconds to a minute without a foul. Clarkson with a basketball. Back out to Bosler. Dribbling to his right. Over to Herter. Herter dribbles by defender in the lane. Hands it off to Bosler. Now we have under two minutes to go. And then Lopez fouls Clarkson. Clarkson to shoot two more. B&J Plumbing can handle all your plumbing needs from clogged drains to a major construction project. Give them a call at 522-3828. The free throw is good. AC Ice proudly supports local high school sports throughout northeast Colorado. At any local or grocery or convenience store near you, AC Ice, second free throw, good. 76-53. Garcia, 16-footer, good. Garcia now with 29 in the game. Clarkson the other way, scoops it up and in off the glass. Like I said, not much defense. 78-55, to 55, minute, minute 33 to go. Garcia left of the lane, fade, shoots, short. And we've got a beat digger on the floor in Grayson Simmons. With a minute 29 to go, he'll get up slowly as Akron will have the basketball. Akron basketball with a minute 29 to go in a 78-55 game. And the Rams will have the basketball. I'm surprised Akron still has their starters out there for the most part. Yeah, all of their starters. There's Clarkson in the backcourt. Yeah, Michaelis, only non-starter. There's a steal by Dunker. Dunker with a basketball is going to kick it back out. Over to Rosenbrock, but then the ball was lost. Teams exchange turnovers. Clarkson the other way, scoops it up. Too strong, and we get a foul. On the floor. Dunker commits the foul. Samber to shoot two. With a minute 11 to go. Girls game will start a little bit after 7 o'clock because of this mess called the fourth quarter. And the free throw is up and off the back of the rim and in. It bounces high and through. 79-55. 79-55. And that's good. That's 80 points for Akron in the game. 44 of those in the second half. 80-55. to 55. Hirschfeld to Garcia at the free throw line in the lane. Feeds Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock reverse layup up and in. He's got six. 80-57. Clarkson over to Herter. Back out to Clarkson. Then threw it away. But Akron has committed only seven turnovers in the game. Now the bee diggers come the other way with 41 seconds to go. Dunker on the outside right. Now fading, shooting, and missing. On the air ball for the bee diggers is Trent Mount. Here comes Herter the other way, scoops it up, and in, and a foul. That's the way to cap it off for Jordan Herter. 82-57 to in favor of Akron. Herter now has 35 points in the game. Herter's free throw is up and in. 36, and it's a 26-point lead, 83-57. Garcia behind his back from 12 feet, scores. Well, that wastes a heck of a game for him. 31 points for Garcia, but brushed down by 24. Still pressuring in the backcourt. Here's Bosler back out to Clarkson. Five seconds to go. Leave him alone. Just let him run out the clock or dribble it out. Clarkson does, and that's it. The Akron Rams put it to the brush. B-Diggers tonight in brush. 
winning by a score of 83 to 59. We'll have the girls' game coming up momentarily. The first of two post game shows as well. Coming up momentarily. As the Bee Diggers drop their season opener. And in resounding fashion. As this team from Akron was just dominant from start to finish. And they show the Bee Diggers why they could be contending this year out of Class 2A despite an excellent game offensively from Austin Garcia. The Akron Rams win 83-59. to Let's take a three-minute break. Back in three minutes, and we'll, we will recap this game on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Bee Digger Post Game Show is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center in Sterling Brush in Fort Morgan, your farm and ranch headquarters for all your farm and ranch supplies, and they carry feed for all your animals and pets, Mr. D's Ace Home Center. The Akron boys beat up the Brush boys pretty handily, 83-59. to It was 23-8 to after one, and although the Bee Diggers on several occasions would draw to within single digits, Akron opened it up in the third quarter and then ran away. 13 points for Akron in the second quarter as opposed to 18 for the Bee Diggers when it was a 36-26 to game at the break. But Akron outscored Brush 26-20 to in the third, 21-13 to in the fourth. And what a game for Jordan Herter. 36 points for him. And more impressively, Herter made his first 11 free throws and was 14 out of 15 from the line. In fact, he made, geez, he made uh, four more free throws than Brush attempted in the entire game. 22 points for Jared Clarkson, 16 for Levi Bosler. He had 11 of those in the third quarter. And then five points for Riley Samber, two apiece for Brock Benson and Darian Guy. The Bay Diggers had one premier score. Austin Garcia with 31 in the game. Next up, six points apiece for Cameron Alexander and Kyle Rosenbrock. Five for Grayson Simmons, Clay Shaver with four. And Eric Barfus had two points. The Bee Diggers actually did a great job on the boards. 40 rebounds to 28 for Akron. The Rams in the game had seven from Jared Clarkson to lead then. The Bee Diggers had nine apiece from Rosenbrock and Austin Garcia. Eric Barfus chipped in with seven. Alexander with six rebounds. But the turnovers were a big disparity besides the free throws. 17 turnovers in the game for Brush. Seven in the game for Akron at the free throw line Brush was 5 out of 10 50% Akron 30 out of 37 81% well we know one thing it's going to get better from here on out and it can't get much worse but then again you got to give the B diggers a pass and you give them a pass simply because there was the anticipation of a slow start coming off that state championship football season. Hirschfeld, Guzman, Alexander, Rosenbrock, Shaver, Aaron Williams also in this roster. I mean, that's six beat diggers right there that had played on that state championship football team. So they've only had a limited number of practices, I believe five as a team coming in. And unfortunately it showed in this particular game in Akron has had a lot more practice time than the Bee Diggers, and that's one of the reasons they came away with this 83-59 to victory. Now with the girls' game. And you have to wonder what the Lady Bee Diggers are going to look like tonight because one year ago, when this brush team was one game shy of the 3A state tournament, their biggest loss of the season was by far the one in Akron. They lost that game by about 50 points. I don't have the score in front of me. I was looking at it earlier today, but it was almost too painful to look at where the uh, the Bee Diggers lost badly in Akron to the Rams, and we know that this Akron team won 21 games a year ago, and they've only got three seniors. Very talented squad, and 
as a result. You know, you're looking now at a uh, at a basketball team that is certainly ready and ready and able here to to defend what they did last year and perhaps look even better off what uh, they did a year ago and try to build on that momentum. Of course, the B-Diggers are under a first-year head coach in uh, Bill Nichols. But let's uh, briefly let's briefly uh, bring in the boys' head coach, Bob Held, after the B-Diggers lost the game by a score. We'll just talk for a couple of minutes here in preparation for the uh, – for the girls' game, coach. But your impressions here tonight—you knew it was going to be a little bit rusty. Right. Uh, I mean, accurate. They got some talent out there with that Clarkson kid and that Jordan Herder coach. He was almost uh, hard to defend with those 36 points he scored tonight. Well, yeah, and, and I was talking about last year when they had Bear, 35, 36 point guy, and I said, guys, they—they're they're coached well. And I said, you know, don't take these guys lightly. I guarantee you, he's found somebody else to shoot. And you know, he did. And I said, don't take them lightly. And I said, knock the rust off now because they're going to come at you. And, you know, the rust was a little bit more rusty than I wanted. Well, and, uh, you know, they scored those 23 points early. And it, you showed some fight. You got back into the game down by seven or eight points, but it just seemed that, I mean, Akron wanted to run the entire game. That half-court offense was almost non-existent for them. As soon as they got into the front court, they were challenging your defense. Right, and we, and that's our game plan. <laughs> you know, and then the problem of it was is we weren't pushing the ball up and, and looking for a solid inside shot. And, and we would, we I think it was just a little antsy, a little, you know, uh, the kids were just a little nervous about themselves, I think, and they didn't know what they were sure about themselves. I think that's it showed, and and I think we'll get it together. But they in practice they play a total different game, and you know. Well, is that the fear that you don't want to rely too much on Austin Garcia? We know he's a premier scorer, had 31 right. points tonight, but right. your second highest scorer only had six points, and that's no. nothing that you want to oh, yeah. go through throughout the course of the season. No balance, and and, and all the little dunk shots underneath, we missed probably 12 or 20 of those, and and there's 10, 12 points in there plus our free throws, you know, and and we're we're a contender if we uh, hit a few more shots. Well, I had Brush with 40 rebounds to 28 for Akron, yeah. so hitting the boards, it, that seemed yeah. to be your strength tonight. Oh, yeah, we're a big rebounding team. It's, it's just we couldn't put the ball at the other end. Mm. All right, Coach. Well, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll see what happens on uh, on Friday night against yeah. Platte Valley. We'll be oh, there at, be at 7 o'clock, but uh, yeah, that that's going to be a really tough game because Platte Valley's good every year. Yeah, we just talked about that in the locker room. I said, shake this off. There's a good Taylor Swift song out there to play tonight, and uh, we'll get ready for Platte Valley. All right, appreciate uh, Brush Boys at basketball coach Bob Held's time as the uh, B-Diggers fall tonight to Akron, 83-59. to We'll take a two-minute break. Back in two minutes, we'll come back with a girls game right here on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.